you guys i'm telling you this glowy dewy skin complexion is so important sis what's up youtube welcome back to any community channel so today i want to show you guys how i achieve this glowy dewy bomb based skin honestly complexion means everything you know what i'm saying like your eyes can be super sultry and sexy and bomb and blended but if your base makeup is patchy and muddy and like dry looking and like flaking and breaking up who cares about your smoky eye because that face is going to tell it all your makeup breaking around the mouth you know what i'm saying you know you need to get your complexion on point that is key when it comes to makeup i feel like because when your complexion is on point you have multiple options you could do you can keep it natural you can keep it neutral you can keep it dramatic you can do it colorful you know what i'm saying there's so many options you can go but as long as your complexion's on points is, that's what really matters get comfortable get cozy make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that bell right next to subscribe so you don't miss the upload let's go okay so girl i'm going to show you how to get that flawless base that glowy base because it's all about that base okay and you know what i'm saying some days it's about eyes and eyes are cute and everything but honestly sis i feel like the base of your makeup just tells it all because you have some nice eyes and your base could be a hot mess so i'm gonna show you how to get it on fleek so we cannot not start with a little moisturizer because it's just a must i just have on some lashes right now and like a little bit of eyeliner so mascara i did my brows a little bit just to like get that out the way but i want the like overall vibe to be the face obviously okay so i want to be real quick simple and to the point so i've already moisturized my face with pond's dry skin cream and i use a little bit of spf i also use a little bit of Elf Poreless Putty Primer just to like try to smooth everything out because your girl is using a chemical face wash which like brings all of like your problems to the surface to like get them to go away so then you can have clear skin which takes like I think about a month two three months like to the max probably like three months but you know it really takes time to like pull everything out and it really has but your breakouts don't last as long as like a typical breakout will but it really brings everything out of your skin and like I noticed the difference just from using it like I really really noticed the difference so yeah that is CeraVe's uh Silas Look Acid Renewing Face Wash if you guys are wondering yes yeah, so I've already done all that and this will just be me getting into like foundation and everything like that but just like products and things that I use to really give me like a glowy base that is like on point so i'm gonna bring you guys forward okay so the first product that i'm going to use is the fenty beauty pro filter hydrating Longwear foundation this is one of my favorite foundations for giving me that like just glow and like coverage that i want so you definitely want to take a moistened beauty blender this is the elf um it's an elf sponge they come in like packs of two they also have packs of one. Oh, total face expert total face sponge something like that anyways this sponge is really really bomb and i do recommend and i start going in on my skin in sections this foundation literally gives you the coverage that you need sis i just i love it it smells so good it's just the right amount of coverage it's not too too dewy but it's definitely more hydrating than the first one she came out with. Also, another tip to having like a flawless base makeup is don't put a lot of product where you don't need it. So I feel like places where your makeup is gonna start breaking up the quickest, try to avoid putting a bunch of makeup there. So for me, that's gonna be my forehead. It's gonna be like around my mouth area. That's gonna be like my nose. So I'm not gonna go in and put a ton of makeup there. If you get what I'm saying, you know, like put it there so it's covered and of course it blends with the rest of your makeup. <laughs> but like don't just go in how you would your troubled areas. Like for me, my troubled areas or foundation where I want my foundation to be at is in this area, like my cheek area here. So that's where I'm going to really focus the product. You don't have to put a bunch of product down here if you're trying to avoid the little line of you know people seeing that obviously you have makeup on you can avoid putting too much makeup in this area or just make sure you do drag it down so you can't see that line this area is for me where i get a lot oily at like i start breaking up my makeup right here first and then i'll start breaking up around my nose and then i'll start breaking up like kind of around the mouth area you'll be able to kind of tell so i avoid putting too much makeup there and i know some people don't but I always take my concealer up under my under eyes just lightly, just so it kind of like 
pre-covers everything and kind of just gives it a nice base. Even though you are going in very lightly around the nose area, I'm sure that you do that. Make that face, okay? Get all around your nose crevices so when you turn, there's no like makeup caking here you want to make sure it's even so you want to blend for a little while you know what i'm saying like you want to make sure everything's blended i think a really good trick for your foundation is honestly really just blending since you want to be like into your skin you don't want it to easily kind of start sitting and settling and caking up on your face you want it to be like very seamlessly on your skin you don't have to blend for 50 years but just make sure you don't see any spots or places that kind of look cakey you really kind of want it to look like skin next i'm going to take my color correcting palette it looks kind of dirty but i use this like literally use this so i'm just going to take it with my fingers i'm going to take a little bit of the yellow shade and this is optional but i really like this for my base i'll take it put it right into the under eye area add it to your chin and your nose a little bit um and then i'm gonna take this shade that i've been eating up okay this one it's like a pink shade and this literally gives me the brightest under eye ever like y'all can't clock me like my under eyes be bright they're bright and that's just what it is but i use the pink one more than the yellow one i used to only use the yellow one until i really started experimenting with the shades and i realized that this conjunction for me is it so you're going to take your beauty blender and you are going to lightly tap that in and it is going to give you a bright eye so i just take it all under the eyes and it really just brightens me up like as you see my under eyes are super bright you can always go in with a little more whatever shade you feel like you need under there sis put it there now i'm going to take my elf hydrating camo concealer they do have this one in a regular like uh non-hydrating formula okay so i barely use this because i don't want to take away from the brightness i don't want to add you know kind of like a skin like shade i kind of want it to be bright but i just kind of add it there and you can let it sit there but with hydrating ones they don't really like get all that too much more um full coverage i know that's like a hack if you like let it sit but what i do before i even go on in and set my under eyes and anything like that is i let it sit under my eyes to dry because the formula that i'm using which is the cream color corrector it is a lot thicker than your average concealer so if i were to go in right now just like this right when i'm done it's gonna stick and pick up in certain spots that aren't dry and it's gonna give you a patchy under eye fit. So just from what I learned, when you're using thicker formula concealers or you know cream contours or whatever it is, just kind of let it dry down a little bit. What you don't want is anything to be patchy when it's creamy and skin like looking right now. So just kind of wait. I know it's like rules to you know go in quick set your under eyes before they start creasing since you can always blend them out again and to be honest with my eyes i don't know if this is everybody but it's gonna start creasing off the rip so that's fine and then as it dries and i continue to blend it out it's like it lessens the amount that my eyes will start to crease so as it's drying if i continue to blend it out eventually it's gonna be barely nothing for no creases to pop back up until like later until my makeup's really just been sitting and oil start really peeking through but if you just go in later sis you're good so i blend this down to about right here to get everything smooth and i'm gonna start with my cream product so if you know me i use this um fit me concealer from maybelline a lot as like my cream contour because like the color on it's great the blend of the way it blends is great like this in general was really good and kind of just add it to the forehead i really like the forehead to be bronzed up i don't obviously go in this area because i said we're like kind of avoiding that area so you see where it's shady that's my natural kind of vibe but I'm going above that because I don't want to dry it down as I blend it out. So I go right above. Oop. I go right above that vibe. You can also take this down here. Down the bridge of the nose. Blend it out. You can also add it in your crease if you don't have like any shadow in there we can always go with your like cream i mean not your cream your um your powder bronzer and add that on top you add it to your chin i'm going to take this face expert brush from real techniques and i'm going 
to start stippling the sand. I normally use the e.l.f. stippling brush, but I left that in the room. And this is also a really great face brush for like cream. I'm also going to use this for cream blush in just a second. But you see how it sculpts out that forehead nicely coming up into the crease. And you see how that nicely just gives you a nice little eye moment. Now I'm going to start here and I'm going to start by stippling and kind of connect from where my contour up here is to down here just kind of in that motion and I'll take any excess product and drag it down here I don't want to do too much because obviously I don't want it to be super dark you can do that to really like you know sculpt it out but I'm I'm not gonna do that today okay so now you've got your creams on obviously as you see it's not too much so now I'm gonna take the elf um cream blush putty blush this is in the shade bali and i'm just gonna dip into here with the same brush that i did my contour with and i'm just gonna first lightly place it my little edges are in the way <laughs> kind of place it on the nose i also add it to the forehead just a little bit because it helps to like i know i look crazy right now but it kind of helps to um like make everything kind of blend and then i kind of just take the excess product off because when i'm blending it i don't want it to be too too much and then i'll just go in and blend it out i blend it out with the brush first then i will take the sponge and kind of like diffuse everything out because the brush will leave you with the most coverage but the sponge will really kind of like even everything out tone it down where you need it toned down at the blush on the nose always gives a good vibe like you're kind of just blushing you can take the excess and kind of just blend out the edges this really helps with making everything you not have any patchiness because sometimes with our skin and with texture we can be pretty patchy but when you use cream products, it kind of helps to make everything not pick up in a patchy way when you put powder on top of it versus just going in kind of on your textured skin. Kind of gives it something to glide. It doesn't look crazy once you kind of get to blending everything out. So I know this sounds crazy, but I'm going to go ahead and jump into my bronzer before I even set my under eyes because I just, I, that's why I like to do it sometimes when I'm doing a base like this. So I'm going to take my Milani. This is the Silky Matte Bronzer. This is very matte and silky, like the exact name. Um, I really kind of dig in this product because it's more of a like buildable type product, but I kind of like want the payoff and pigment right away. So this is nice and matte, so it'll kind of just glide on your skin real nice. Okay, so I'm just dragging it down the nose to kind of go in all of the places that I use the cream products of bronzer and use that to bronze all these areas up. Give me nice and bronzy. Take it down here. Okay, so I really don't like highlight how I used to, but this highlight in here by e.l.f., which is a um, little bite-sized duo, I really do like. So I'm going to avoid this breakout that I have here and just add the highlight, which literally looks like skin. Not a super, like, product that's going to look super, super powdery. That's why I really do like this highlight because I'm not really into highlight how I used to be. But when I do this with the trick that I use, that I'm going to show you in just a sec, you will see why this highlighter is so long. This will literally melt into your skin like butter once I show you. So before I do that, I've actually been really enjoying the Kylie Jenner blush. I really like this shade right here, which is Crush. I'm going to take this. Honestly, it's kind of similar to this blush in here from Elf. Do we have a dupe on our hands? This is very similar and this blush is pretty. So, and that one's three dollars. So, and this one's eighteen. So I'm just gonna add this blush in here to really give us that color. And I like to do my highlights before my blush because it kind of helps me like blend out my highlight better with like all of my products. Like I can fit the blush in and around the highlight, uh -huh. and it kind of just makes it look a lot more seamless and a lot less kind of. I don't know, awkward, like it's just sitting on top of everything. It looks better. I'm also quickly going to add that same highlight to my inner corner. I'm just using this brush because it's all I have in here right now. I'm also going to kind of add it into here just for a little moment. Okay, so now I know this is crazy. I'm like going in with powder last, but I'm going to take my airspun powder, 
with a very kind of defined brush. Now this powder is literally only going under my eyes because I want to keep the vibe of my, like my whole face dewy and glowy. Kind of, you can add a little bit down here. Really, if you get oily in any areas, you can kind of add that there. This is why I don't do my brows first anymore. There's product all in them. They got all rearranged. Like, girl, I do not do that anymore. I only did it for the video. I use such minimal powder for this look. Like, I everything is pretty self-setting. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add a little Urban Decay lipstick on here. This is like my favorite nude. It is so long. Just gonna add this all over the lips. I love a nude lip. There's just nothing I prefer over it. I'm just taking that brush I had the powder on and lightly diffusing it over my eyes just to add a little oomph. I'm also gonna add that highlight to my brow bone. This just kind of all gives your face the illusion that you're kind of just glowing everywhere, sis. Now this last step is so crucial, sis. Take your setting spray. This is the Milani Make It Last Fruit Fetish Spray. This is the Mango Coconut one. I'm gonna take my setting spray and I'm going to not spray my face. I'm gonna spray my brush until it's relatively wet. This is a hack I've seen and I did it and I was like, yes. So you're gonna take it, it's like very wet. And I'm gonna take it and kind of melt my products back to like cream products, if that makes sense. This works so good. I wanna come closer so y'all can see, like it's literally melting the product into my skin. So my skin looks still very like glowy, dewy. And it just helps so much with those like powdery products. And it just gives them life. I especially like to do this with the highlight because the highlight is where it really needs it. Just taking this down my nose. And it's so much more controlled versus kind of going in with the spray just all over your face. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe down below for me. And if you enjoyed this base tutorial, be sure to especially subscribe to this because honestly, I love my makeup like this. I feel like it's glowy, it's dewy, the eyes are minimal, and the skin just takes over the show. So if you guys enjoyed, then I hope you guys subscribe and y'all catch my next video. Bye.